A fillet weld symbol is triangular in shape. The vertical line of the triangle is always on the left. Shown here is a fillet joint symbol on the arrow side. The units used on the drawing will be indicated somewhere else in the blueprint. In this example, we are going to assume that the units used are inches. Notice that the weld size is indicated to the left of the fillet weld symbol. This means that the bottom leg and the top leg should be the same as a quarter inch. And the length of the weld is indicated to the right of the weld symbol. It's specified here that the weld length is only 6 inches, regardless of the length of the joint. If no length is indicated, the weld should be made on the full length of the joint. The weld symbol appears above the reference line, which implies that the weld is to be performed on the other side. Since the arrow points at the right of the fillet joint, the other side will be on the left of the joint. Similarly, the weld size will appear on the left of the weld symbol, and the length will appear on the right. If weld symbols are drawn on both sides of the reference line, both sides need to be welded. This symbol is for fillet weld on both sides of the joint. Here, we will talk about three basic groove welds. Square groove, single beveled groove, and V groove. The first thing the welder must do in setting the joint up is to set the root opening. Therefore, the first number located inside a groove weld indicates the root opening. Next is the included groove angle. The dimensions to the left of the weld symbol are the depth of bevel or groove. And the weld size. Note that the root penetration is not considered into the measuring of the weld size. Square groove weld symbol is represented by two open lines. The maximum root opening and recommended plate thickness for complete penetration purposes, is a quarter inch. This is the square groove weld symbol on the arrow side. The example shown here is welded in the flat position, therefore the bead is rounded at the bottom. The shape of the weld varies by the welding position, welding process, material and other factors. Similar to the fillet weld symbol, the weld size is to the left of the square groove weld symbol. The dimension drawn in between the lines that represent square groove indicates the size of the root opening. Since the arrow is pointed at the top of the plate, the other side is the bottom of the plate. Therefore, a weld is made at the bottom of the plate. This is the weld symbol for square groove weld on both the arrow side and the other side. If the dimensions for both sides are the same, no repetition is needed. Thus, the dimensions that only appeared on one side apply to both sides. A single beveled groove is represented by an open triangle with the vertical line on the left. To the left of the symbol, depth of the bevel is drawn. Root opening and bevel angle is stated at the open end of the triangle weld symbol. The arrow is pointing at the bottom of the plate, therefore the arrow side of the reference line represents the bottom of the plate. The depth of the bevel is drawn to the left of the weld symbol. Notice that weld size is not stated. This implies that the weld should fill up the whole groove and the cap should be less than an eighth of an inch above the plate surface. The other side of the plate in this case is the top of the plate. From the top view, you can see that the cap consists of three beads. For the weld to be performed on both sides of the plate using the same dimensions, no repetition is needed. For example, in this symbol, there's only one depth of bevel, one root opening, and one bevel angle drawn. Welders need to understand that all these dimensions apply to both sides, and they have to completely fill up the beveled groove. V groove is also called double beveled groove. It is represented by the letter V on the reference line. To the left of the weld symbol is where the depth of the bevel and the weld size are indicated. The opened end of the letter V is where the root opening and the included angle are indicated. 
Similarly to the arrow side V groove weld symbol, the depth of bevel and the weld size are indicated to the left of the weld symbol. And the root opening and the included angle are indicated at the opened end of the letter V. Since the included angle for the top of the plate is different from the included angle for the bottom of the plate, the angles for both sides need to be indicated. Supplementary weld symbols provide additional requirements for the basic weld symbols. They are shown here in light blue. They include the weld all around symbol. This symbol indicates that the weld should extend around the entire periphery of the junction between two work pieces. The field weld symbol. This symbol indicates that the welds are to be made on the job site, not in the shop. The melt through symbol. Specifies that the root bead should be welded such that it extends through the bottom of the joint. It can be replaced by the letter CJP, meaning complete joint penetration, on the tail of a welding symbol. The consumable insert symbol, often used in pipe welding, is used in conjunction with a tail to indicate the class and shape of the insert to be used. The typical joint created with a consumable insert is the V groove butt joint. The backing and spacer symbols. Indicates that a metal strip is to be used at the back of the joint so that the joint is not an open root joint. This symbol is often used in conjunction with the V-groove weld symbol. Information about the backing dimensions and material will be specified in the tail of the welding symbol. And the contour symbols. These symbols specify the final shapes of the completed or finished weld. Next, we will look at a few of the supplementary symbols and I will show you how each symbol affects the appearance of the weld. The all-around weld symbol indicates that the weld should extend around all parts of the joint. Shown here is a double T joint. In addition to welding the entire length of the joint, welds are placed around the front and back of the joint. Sometimes backing is required on a groove weld to ensure complete penetration. This is an example of what a workpiece looks like with backing. The backing is shown in yellow. The contour of the weld face can be shaped to meet customer requirements. Flush or flat contour specify the weld appearance to be flat with respect to the workpiece. Convex weld appearance is preferred for stress and strain purposes. The weld face will appear above the plate surface and be slightly rounded in shape. Concave weld faces are rarely seen or used. If and when they are used, it is usually for metal alignment purposes, meaning that a convex or flush weld face would be in the way when further joining or assembly of a part or parts is required. 